Richard Sibbs, Antidotum Contra Naufragium, Episode 11. Ambigator inter nos et pontificios, quinam sint meliores fidei de passatarii. Nos eos, reos, agamus cordram toto mundo multiplicator violati de positi. Multa adederunt, ut noa sacramenta, noos articulus fidei, noam formam iurdramenti annexam concilio tridentino. Multa de traxerunt, pocalum e coina, etc., multum transmutarunt, sacramenta in sacrificia, precepta in concilia, redregem in ecclesiae in uasibilem monarchiam. Sibs continues his argument, and he says, There is a dispute, ambigatur. This is a third singular, present passive indicative. And it means for there to be a dispute. There is a dispute between us, that is, the Reformed, et pontificios. That means the Roman Catholics. As to who are, quinam sint, the better, meliores, trustees, depositarii, of the faith. That is, which of the two groups keep the deposit of the faith better. Inter takes the accusative, masculine plural, pontificios. Quinam is nominative, modified by meliores, with depositarii in the nominative as the predicate. We, meaning the Reformed, hold or treat them as guilty, reos. This is the masculine plural accusative predicate. It is the adjective reus a um. It means to be guilty, and it always patterns with the genitive. We hold that they are guilty, coram toto mundo, before the whole world, in the presence of the whole world, on a number of counts, multiplicatur, of, here's our genitive, violati depositi, of the deposit having been violated, or abandoned, or ill-treated. Depositi and violati are neuter, singular, and genitive. Now the list of charges on the part of the Reformed Protestants against the Pontificios, Roman Catholics. Multa adederunt. They have added many things. Multa is neuter, plural, accusative, the object of adederunt, which is perfect tense, such as, this is what the ut means when it's with the indicative, such as new sacraments, noa sacramenta, sacramenta, new articles of the faith, novos articulos fidei, and a noam formam, a new form of oath, uramenti, a new type of oath, attached, annexed, to the Council of Trent, concilio tridentino. So, because multa is accusative, then these, in apposition, are also accusative, as ut introduces them. Noa sacramenta, noos articulos, and noam formam annexam. These are all accusative. Concilio tridentino, meanwhile, is neuter singular dative. Concilium is the nominative, tridentinum is the adjectival form. And it is dative with this adjective annexam, which patterns with the dative, to be attached or appended to something. And then, quite abruptly, without any form of conjunction here, multa de traxerunt, they have withdrawn or taken away many things. So multa adiderunt, multa de traxerunt, this is the charge. Such as, they have taken away pocalum e coino, e coina, the cup from the supper, etc. Transmutarunt multum, they have changed in many ways, they have changed a lot, multum. Transmutarunt is a truncated form of the perfect indicative, third plural, transmuta verunt would be the full form, but this syllable has been dropped, as is common for the third plural perfect indicative active. They have changed many things, multum or transformed many things. Note that why, while multa here and multa here, these are substantive adjectives, that is, adjectives used as a noun. Multum here is an adverb. They have changed a lot, such as sacraments into sacrifices, commandments, precepta, into concilia, plans, intentions, pious advice. Notice how each one of these is accusative, and this is accusative as the object of in and concilia for the same reason. They have changed regimen ecclesiae, the proper rule of the church, into a manifest, a visible, and open monarchy. This kind of theological reasoning is known as polemic, very popular in the 16th and 17th centuries, not popular now. 
Anyone interested in the debate is encouraged to go ad fontes, back to the sources, and read both the Protestant sources and the Roman Catholic ones, like the Council of Trent, which was referenced here.